In the modern day, no one is protected from online bullying, which is also known as trolling. Trolling has become an extremely dangerous behavior on social media platforms. The lack of restrictions allows users to exceed their boundaries more than in real life. Therefore, this makes trolls the web's darkest users who thrive on negative attention. The trolling case of Caroline Picu in Italy made her commit suicide after being targeted online, and the social activist Caroline Cariato Paris faced rape threats on Twitter after winning a battle on British banknotes. Therefore, Twitter reacted to the rape threat sent to Cariato Paris by creating a button to report abusive tweets. This made Twitter and Facebook have the same settings by displaying this button on every message. Facebook is the largest player in social media town and it's widely acknowledged they're leading the industry with their measures to fight cyberbullying. The problem is new social networks pop up all the time. They often can't, won't or haven't put in the policies or the principles to join the cyber fight. A troll is someone who deliberately provokes online users through offensive or provocative comments. Recent figures have shown that 1,209 people were convicted of internet trolling in 2015. What is the reason behind trolling? Often people hide behind uh, their anonymous uh, identification online. So they are able then to uh, bully people in a way that they perhaps would not be able to do face to face. It could be jealousy. It could be frustration with that person's own life or situation. It could be pure boredom. It could be nastiness. Or it could be just that the troll has an overinflated sense of self. They are hobbyless, um, or they're just angry and they want to unleash their words upon people they don't really know. سبب من أسباب إن الناس يسوون ترولي هو إن يحسون بالنقص فلما يطلعون عيوب اللي قدامهم يحسون بالاكتمال. Myself, I think it's uh, one of them is um, having fun. I'm a big fan of YouTube. I spend most of my time on YouTube and uh, I enjoy reading the comments. People fight all the time and it's just fun to read all of that. So is trolling creating an insulting culture? What I find interesting is that a lot of public figures tend to let the trolling comments uh, be taken care of by positive comments, so they kind of leave it to itself. It does create a very offensive, uh, vile culture because people think that they can get away with just saying any words that hurt people. I guess this is our culture. Um, we fight all the time together and the online world is just a reflection of what we do in real life. And uh, I don't think it's creating an offensive culture, it's just reflecting who we are. Have you ever experienced trolling? I have been trolled once before, it was on Instagram. Um, it was basically somebody with a private account leaving a really nasty comment. Um, I was really shocked and surprised and quite hurt by it. Not by the comment itself, but just by the action, because I always try and be as positive and uh, upbeat in all of my platforms as much as possible. So it was actually quite shocking and I was really surprised by it as well. انا صادني ترولين قبل في ناس سووني ترول انا انا عندي قناه على اليوتيوب مالت جيمنج فعندي فيديوهات انا اقيم العاب وكذي كان في ناس سوون ترولين مثلا يعني واحد يجي يكتب لي اسوء مراجعه شفتها في حياتي ذي بدون ما مثلا ينصحني شلون اسوي الفيديو احسن بس يي ويبي يخرب مزاجي صراحه يعني في بعضهم يكتبون اشياء ضاحك بس مو معنى تطلع صح يعني انا ضد هالشيء يعني غلط اللي يسوونه أنا عرفت إنه غلط يوم صادني أنا الشيء أنا قبل كنت أشوف إنه يضحك إنه يصيد واحد ثاني بس يوم صادني أنا لاحظت إنه مو بحلو الإحساس يعني. Yes, I have experienced trolling. Um, it was through Ask FM and Facebook mostly. It wasn't a pleasant uh, time. Uh, I did try to go to a lot of people, but nothing happened. Um, I ended up going to a friend of mine who tracked a lot of people's IP addresses. <laughs> um, it made me feel nice at that time by getting a friend involved, but before that, it, they got me at my lowest point and it wasn't a very nice experience. I was on Instagram 
واللي صار ان رديت على الشخص اللي كتب لي كلام سلبي وتفاجات ان لما رديت عليه بطريقه ايجابيه رد علي باسلوب كلش مختلف عن اللي كتب لي اياه فكان شيء عادي بالنسبه لي Well, um, yes, I have experienced trolling. I didn't experience people trolling me, but I trolled a lot of people. Um, I didn't take it too far. Um, I, can, I can give you an example. Um, there was one video on YouTube where um, just a band playing, and I just thought that the guitar player looked like Steve Jobs. And I, and I went to the comments and I was like, yeah, Steve Jobs is playing guitar. And uh, I got, a, like, I don't know, like three likes and two comments about that, and nobody really felt offended. Do you consider their comment offensive? I was offended by her comment, I'm assuming it was a girl, um, because it was from a stranger and it was unprovoked and it was obviously designed to hurt me. I'm sorry to troll and I felt it was a shame. I mean, I'm going to do a video and I'm going to do a post and I'm going to do a video and I'm going to do a post and I'm going to do a video and I'm going to do a post 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 and I'm going to do a post. I do find some of the comments offensive, especially during the low period of my time, but nowadays I just laugh at them and ignore them because they're silly. I don't think it's offensive because the writer or any person who wrote the comment is based on a view. Maybe he doesn't know how to get the information in a way, but he doesn't consider it a view and it doesn't affect me. It really depends on the context and depends on what you're saying. Um, Personally, I don't really say offensive stuff. Uh, I just feel like it's it's not fun to do so. It's uh, not polite. Um, but in general, I really enjoy even reading and going through the offensive comments. So is trolling considered as a crime? I believe there was a case where a young man had trolled on somebody's testimonial site after their death and had caused a great deal of upset to the family involved. He was jailed, I believe, for 18 weeks and banned from using social media for five years. In some countries, it actually is illegal to troll. Uh, in New Zealand, they've made it illegal recently. In Arizona and the United States, you can get up to 25 years jail for trolling. Uh, and in the UK as well, you can get around two years for trolling. There has been some very serious cases of trolling, uh, where people who have lost loved ones have been trolled. Uh, there has been cyberbullying, manipulation through trolling and offensive trolling. So it is a very serious issue and one that does need to be dealt with. According to the Telegraph newspaper, in 2015, convictions for crimes under a law to prosecute internet trolls increased eightfold in a decade, with 155 people jailed for sending messages which were grossly offensive or of a menacing character. It goes beyond being purely offensive. It can cause a lot of harm and really damage people's lives. Um, trolling in the form of cyberbullying has led to um, people being ostracized and victimized and also has led to uh, people committing suicides as well. Whether or not it's a crime depends on the outcome, on the outcome of the trolling. So if it's just a comment, one or two comments, it's, it can be hurtful but reasonably harmless. If it leads to um, this, you know, a, a different if it, a different outcome, which trolling can sometimes do, especially with teenagers, then absolutely, yes, it, it is a crime and it should be a crime. According to the Guardian newspaper, one in four teenagers suffer hate abuse online in 2015. Should social networking sites be improved technically? To technically um, prevent trolling can be very difficult because computers cannot read uh, subjectivity. Therefore, one way perhaps of doing this is to have, uh, to employ more moderators. I suppose the founding fathers of the internet were all about the freedom of information and passing information and that they're in their minds that, you know, there wasn't so much uh, security and restrictions on everything that happens on the internet. However, I think if they had have known that uh, cyberbullying and trolling and, and this was going to happen on social media sites. They might have been. Uh, they might have had a different view. Online abuse and cyberbullying have emerged as major issues alongside the explosion in popularity in social media sites. I think what should happen is that if someone is reported as having trolled somebody else, um, that the platform takes action because I think a lot of the platforms are very slow or hesitant to take action 
um, and I think they should be proactive in banning trolls. Should social media prevent anonymous identities? Um, I do believe that some social networks should prevent anonymous um, sign-ups for the reason, the reason being is that I think by their nature they are open and people should be identified by their face and true identity. This in itself I believe would prevent trolling because the comment becomes owned by that particular person. If you are causing offence, trolling or hatred, then that anonymity should be relinquished and the providers of the social networking sites should be given up the names of the anonymity to the police or, or the authority. Now, I don't think anonymous identities should be prevented um, because at the end of the day even public identities can also troll others. How can individuals avoid being trolled? Number one, don't engage with the troll. Uh, you are essentially feeding the troll if you respond to a troll. They are looking for a response from you. Uh, so if you don't respond and you don't ignore, then you're not feeding that narcissism, egotism, or what the troll is looking for. I think education and awareness raising is one of the best ways around this, and also an understanding of the rules of netiquette. How to behave on online. As hell, she can walk and get a sewy assassin in a genab electronic. One they sew account of private. Oh, my girl, and let us have a little bit. Well, if you don't want to be trolled, at least by me, um, don't really upload some stuff that might be a bit stupid. I mean, don't really make fun of yourself, don't make a joke out of yourself, and you'll be safe. At the end of the day, you can't really control what people are going to do or say about you. Um, just be true to yourself, don't react to any comments. Um, and just delete any comments, block people if need be, be strong and just believe in yourself. Some of the behaviors are on one end, I don't know if I would say exactly harmless, but don't really mean to, to cause any permanent emotional damage. It's silly, it's absurd, it's uh, intended to be kind of amusing, both for the troll and for those who may be witnessing the behaviors. But then it, on the other end of the spectrum, you can get really nasty behaviors, really abusive behavior. Trolling is creating an emotional and psychological effect on individuals due to the offensive messages being sent online. These messages are destructive because they affect individuals' daily lives and causes continuous sources of distress. Stop and think before posting something online that might be upsetting to someone. Think about how you would feel if you were in their position. Some individuals suffer greatly from severe side effects which can result in emotional breakdown, depression, and in some cases, committing suicide. Nobody deserves it, and we can all help to put an end to it.